Well, sometimes it's just not enough to read about it in a book. You have to see it for yourself. And here in Detroit, there are so many important landmarks people just don't know about. But thankfully, there's a man working to make sure Detroit's role in black history gets exposed to the masses. Our Priya man shows us how he's doing it. Before COVID, Jamon Jordan was a prominent tour guide in Detroit. He since pivoted to virtual tours, but gave Local 4 a socially distanced walk past some important landmarks in the city. For a few years, this was the black hospital in the city of Detroit. Historian Jamon Jordan says a group of black doctors and nurses opened Dunbar Hospital because at the time, major hospitals wouldn't see black patients. This hospital was started in 1918, which of course was the year of the pandemic. A century later, as a new pandemic ravages the world, it underscores ongoing health disparities and just how vital Dunbar Hospital was for black Detroiters, including Dr. Ocean Sweet, an unsuspecting pioneer of civil rights. He was a doctor who worked here. In 1925, Dr. Sweet bought a home in a white neighborhood, but a mob tried to force the family out. While defending their home, two white people were shot and one died. So now we're dealing with the criminal justice system attacking and punishing African Americans for asserting their humanity. The NAACP hired the family a prominent lawyer. And he argues that they had the right to defend their homes. And in 1925, they're going to win that case. And perhaps the most recognizable face of the civil rights movement is Rosa Parks. And she's going to live here in the city of Detroit longer than she lived in Montgomery, Alabama. And for a long time, she lived at 3201 Virginia Park. But many have no clue Parks continued her fight for civil rights here in Detroit. At a century earlier, before Michigan was even a state, leaders of the Underground Railroad founded Second Baptist Church. And so the people who are fighting to establish their own religious places are also the people helping to free black people from slavery. And if these stories get lost or hidden, then we lose a part of ourselves. History helps us to see where we've been and be able to place us in a better space and that we can move forward. In Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Hey Priya, thank you. And we want to be sure you check out uh, the Black History Month page over on our website, clickondetroit.com. It's going to be the home for all of our coverage over this next month. You can go to it directly at clickondetroit.com slash blackhistorymonth.